I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss transformation of quadratic functions. We have two functions here g of x equals to x square plus 2 and h of x equals to x plus 1 whole square. We need to sketch these functions. What we are given here is graph of the base function y equals to x square. So we will start with the parent function y equals to x square. From there we will sketch the two transform functions. So let's begin with g of x equals to x square plus 2. Now can you tell me what kind of transformation has been applied to x square in this particular function? We have x square plus 2. So the type of transformation is we have translated the graph of x square two units upwards. So it is a vertical translation. Two units up. So that is the kind of translation. As the description is telling you, each point actually moves two units up, right? So that is what it is. So we can start from the leftmost point, which is minus 3, 9. As you can see, we have taken here seven points. These are the key points for any parabola. Minus 3 squared is 9, minus 2 squared is 4, minus 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. So that gives you parabola with vertex at 0, 0 and the steps are 1, 3, 5 and so on. Right? So let's start from the original function y equals to x squared. Translate each point 2 units upwards. So this point instead of 9 moves to 11 which is this position. Instead of 4 it moves upwards to 6, 1 moves to 3, 0 moves to 2, and this 1 moves to 3, right? So, so this, or you could get from symmetry also. 4, 2 steps up is 6, 9, 2 steps up is 11, right? So, once you have these points, you can join them. So, joining these points gave you parabola it extends upwards so mark arrows so that is how you get the first function by translating each key point two units up now let's look into the second function which is h of x equals to x plus one whole square now what is the translation here since plus one is within the brackets we have horizontal translation in this case, right? So in this case, we have horizontal translation. One unit, which side? One unit left. Why left? If I write minus one here, it becomes zero, right? So that is why it is towards left. So each point will now be moved one unit left to sketch the graph for h of x. So we can start from here. So it is at 3, it moves left to 4. So it moves here. So that's the point. So it moves one unit left. The graph is, you know, the lines are not very clear. Anyway, that's the point. So this moves from 1 to 2. That is the point. From 0 to 1. So it is, we are moving each one unit left. So what you get here is the left side, which is kind of like this right so that is the graph on the left side now these on the right side also move each and every point will move one unit towards left right so we are actually moving the key points joining them to show that each point on the graph should move one unit left for the function h of x do you see that so that is how you could easily sketch translated function in this case h of x has been translated one unit towards left so it's very easy sketch your base function x square take the key points move them each one unit left to get the new transformed function so i hope the steps are clear in the first g of x we translated each function each point one unit up and got x squared plus 2, so 2 units up. And the second 
we translated each point one unit left to get the function x plus h whole square. So that is how you could actually sketch translated quadratic functions. Now what you could do is you can pause the video and write down the changes which you can observe in these two graphs. So in the first graph what we observe is when you do vertical translation x's remain same however vertex changes from 0, 0 to 0, 2. In the second case, when you do horizontal translation, vertex changes. The x value changes, the y remains same. x value becomes minus, in this case, minus 1, 0. And the whole graph shifts one unit towards the left. x is also moves to minus 1. So x equals to minus 1 becomes the axis of the graph when it is translated one unit left. So those are the changes which you'll observe after translation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.